Hey there, Northern Badger Football League fans. It's time to look at week two with the NBFL. As usual, we'll start with the Baron Division, largely recognized as the superior division out of the two. And how about those Raining Tree Frogs picking up their first ever victory? And boy, what a great time to play Rabbit Trail and Smiley Free Tag. Warnberg pulled all of the stops, dressing up in a circa 1967 Cumberland basketball uniform. Losing Des Bryant, not that big deal of, after all if you dress up like a skinny white Arab with anorexia. Bitter rivals crash. McPoskin traveled to Maple Grove with dropping a 31-point bomb to the Hammers Beefers. It was Carson Palmer, resplendent in his green, beefer uniform, saying, yeah, I scored 31 bitches. What do you think about that, Chucky? Chucky had no answer. Because Chucky's been busted. There's a new investigation going on called Cheatgate, where Chucky was staring at Hammer's papers, but Chucky forgot his reading glasses. That's his defense. And that dirty dog threw up 135 points, taking $10 honors this week. His Doherty Creek, even though second in scoring, tied for second in scoring in the league, couldn't do anything. Has there ever been a captain of a ship as sexy as Captain Stubing from The Love Boat than this sexy dog. Only if you have a black man popping out of your crotch. And D'Angelo Williams, who was his leading scorer. But let's face it, everybody scored. Good work, dog. Meanwhile, things are tense in Doherty Crick. Or even Booty, who's been renamed Favre because he always run into fucking Sean's house, bears his nutless crotch to the world and saying, I'm sick of fifth place. Alrighty, let's take a peek at what happened in the Polk Division this week. It was the Horseshit Bucks getting their first win of the season, putting up 107 points on those hapless woodchucks from Rockman's Woods. Horseshoe must have had some good players. I really didn't bother to look because I was in a hurry checking papers. Anyway, Pete falls to 0-2. I'll tell you what, Pete, don't feel bad. You get a participation ribbon. Mark Johnson's Apple River Hillbillies, also third team with 107 points. Spank that monkey. In fact, MJ was probably the week's best trash talker. Giving it to the monkey on the CBS site. In fact, MJ was going to spank the monkey and give him the stink finger, but then he was presented with a fine piece of ass, and he couldn't keep the smile off his face. And finally, in the last game of the week, Wickwear Warriors under Boo Radley. Only scored 91 points. That was plenty to beat the defending world champions, South Doherty Pudrackers. Here's a suggestion for future videos. Boo, how about pulling down your socks and learning some technology for which you too can produce high quality videos? I'm just saying, because I got shit to do, like write a book pretty soon. Meanwhile, Sean's message to Pudjacker Nation was hey, everybody relax, relax, let your nuts do it, relax. All right, let's take a look at the standings. First in the Baron Division with their big win, Beaver Township, 2-0, 213 points. Doherty Creek, 0-2, but is in second in scoring. Yeah, we've heard this shit before. The Beavers, 29 points behind, also 2-0, and, and then you saw the rest hit pause if you didn't. Let's go to the Polk. Those Wickwar Warriors, the notorious wad shooters, are starting fast and fading late, are 2-0. Super Bowl two winners, Apple River in second, also 2-0. And and, but look at those mud jackers, 70 out. Have a good week, everybody. Remember, always use protection.